Welcome to Sabbath School Today, lesson number 11, Longing for God in Zion. The happiness and peace that Christ promises are infinite in scope. But please remember that those blessings are all in Him. If you have been given a bum rap in life, a heartbreaking divorce, or disappointment in love, or failure in business or career, or rejection by peers, or a battle with cancer, I could go on and on as a savior of the world, Christ opens his arms and says, come, I am come that you might have life and that you might have it more abundantly. We're speaking of wisdom today. Think of it as it's personified. He cries out, blessed is the person who hears me, that is wisdom, watching daily at my gates, waiting at the posts of my doors. For whosoever finds me finds life and shall obtain favor of the Lord. The prophet Joel says, Whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be delivered. For in Mount Zion and in Jerusalem shall be deliverance, as the Lord hath said. And in the remnant whom the Lord shall call, Remember Mount Zion and Jerusalem, the remnant, it means the church. Whatever the crushing blow what that, that has been laid you, laying you low, either emotionally or physically, it's the Savior who says to you, Come unto me, I will give you rest. And your heart will sing again, for these words apply. I waited patiently for the Lord, and he inclined unto me and heard my ear. He brought me up also out of the horrible pit, out of the miry clay, the mud, and set my feet upon the rock and established my goings. And he hath put a new song in my mouth. Psalm 40, 1 through 3. But all of these blessings are in Jesus, and that is that you receive them in fellowship with Christ. Your soul is knit with his soul. His thoughts become yours. His aspirations are yours, and you live in him. His cross becomes your cross. His presence is manifested with you in your loneliness and in pain. As he is made to be sin for us who knew no sin, you sense that the sin that weighs him down is your sin. You identify with him. You sense that oneness continually with him, and lo and behold, the burden that you carry and the yoke that you thought was hard becomes light and easy. And the reason is because identifying with him, that is, being in him, he is sharing your yoke with you, carrying the heavy part. You have a wholly new perspective on your life, and yes, you can now sing a new song. Thank you, Jesus, for yoking with us. Your yoke is easy and your burden is light. In his name we pray, amen.